it's time to predict the scores for game week 32 of this 2023-2024 Premier League season. We're recording this mm -hmm. slap bang in the middle of game week 31, which is taking place midweek. It's currently Wednesday evening, so we don't have a top scorers in the predictions league for game week 31. So let's just mm -hmm. get straight into it and make the predictions for game week 32. Okay, so starting off with a half past 12 on, I was nearly going to say Sky, on nope. TNT between Crystal Palace and Manchester City. Manchester City, what an absolute ball fest that was on the weekend against Arsenal. Nil-nil, tiki-taka, passing around the back football. Wasn't particularly impressed. And then obviously Palace, they're taking over quite nicely at the moment, getting the old win uh, here and there. They haven't won in four, however, but they're in no danger of going down for me. So Man City, if they want to still be within the title race, because they're currently languishing in third position, have three draws in their last six as well, which isn't particularly great. Um, so in that case, I'm going to go a free one away for the citizens. Well, Man City are going to be kicking off in the next five minutes against Aston Villa. That's a tough uh, oh, If yeah. they win that... Then, well, Arsenal, of course, they're, they're playing as well and they're currently beating Luton 1-0 for an Odegaard yeah. goal for this match. Crystal Palace against Manchester City. I think Man City will have mm -hmm. too much for Palace, although Palace will make it tough at Sellers Park. Haaland's being rested this evening for that match against Aston Villa. He's on the bench, so I expect to, we'll see him at some point, and that'll please Roy Keane, won't it? But yep. in this fixture, okay, it was a narrow victory for the Citizens last season where it finished 1-0, and I think it's going to be a similar scoreline. I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory to Man City. Then we got the first of the three o'clock kickoffs between Aston Villa and Brentford. Ollie Watkins mm -hmm. unavailable for the match against Mids, uh, Man City midweek. Villa at home. They really want to cement them, they yeah. set themselves in those Champions League spots. Especially the Tottenham have hit a bit of a rough patch That's as well. That's right. <laughs> yes, they have. They're up and down their form, Spurs. Mm -hmm. uh, Brentford. Can't buy a win at the moment. Winless in their last six matches, although they do have Brighton yeah. uh, on uh, Wednesday evening, where it's currently nil-nil. So in this match, I think home advantage is going to pay uh, dividends for Aston Villa in this one. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 victory to the Villains. Yeah, speaking about Brentford, a lot of inconsistencies there. Some games they're playing well, but losing. Others, not so much. Like, for example, Burnley won is an example. Mind, they did seem that they were back. Well, they say they're back in that game, but who knows. But aside from that, Villa, ridiculous form. There's only going to be one winner for me, especially with this end of the season under Emery, so 2-0. Moving on, Everton up against Burnley. Everton aren't in great form at no. all. I don't even think they've won at home since, like, November or something ridiculous, which is obscene. And then Burnley getting that win against Brentford, and apart from that, are grinding out results mm. and slowly getting there, but it is way too little too late for me. At the end of the day, Everton, I'm not impressed with their form. And in fact, I'm going to flip my prediction as well. I'm going to change my mind completely on this one. I'm wow. going to go 2-1 to Burnley. 2-1, yeah. Well, Burnley and beating the last four matches. Three draws yep. in that match, in that um, in that little run. They mm -hmm. do need a couple of victories, really, and they need them pretty quickly as well. Escape as they stay up. To climb out of that relegation mm -hmm. zone. Vincent Company getting sent off recently as well. But this is the Sean Dyche derby yeah. as well. Everton at home. Burnley away. It's going to be tight. I can see another draw in this one, and I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one scoreline, as he would say. Oh, dear, oh dear. Don't do that again. Right, next up we got Fulham coming up against Newcastle. Now, Fulham did go through a bit of a purple patch. Minx is scoring for fun. I think he's got some, like, eight in nine matches yeah, or seven in nine matches, which is an excellent return. They are in 13th position. Haven't won for the last couple of matches. Losing their last fixture against Nottingham Forest on Tuesday they evening. 3-1. Newcastle themselves had a very good win against West Ham on the weekend where they won 4-3, but so coming to a draw at home then on Tyneside where they drew 1-1 against mm -hmm. Everton. So this one... Can they repeat the scoreline which they did last season where they won 4-1? I don't think it's, it's going to be that comprehensive. Isaac's getting amongst the goals again. Uh, it's on penalty duties. Wilson 
is uh, unavailable as well. So I think the Magpies are going to come away with all three points in a 2-1 victory. Yeah, for me, this is going to be a Newcastle victory. Really wasn't impressed by Fulham at all yesterday, to be honest. And Newcastle, they're grinding out the results that they need to as well. And in the games they're losing, been that Arsenal one, they are only losing them narrowly as well. So in that case, completely Newcastle's and they're going to keep to push for Europe as well. So let's go 3-1. Anyway, moving on to a difficult one. Luton against Bournemouth. Luton scoring the goals, but they just cannot defend no. at all at the moment. They've really slumped into a poor run of form. Whereas Bournemouth, they're doing well, aren't they? Uh, three victories on the bounce, including that really tight game against Luton the other week, 4-3. And yeah, they're grinding out the results they need to, but it is teams around them. I think a Kenilworth Road, with the way that Luton played in the reverse fixture, they're going to be up for this one, definitely. So let's go Desmond's 2-2. Two 2-2, -two. Two -two, yeah. I they think, need the points. I think Luton will get two goals, but I think the Bournemouth will get one more in a 3-2 yeah. away victory. It's like Luton do score goals, but as you say, they their, their defence, as you said in the past, is like a calendar. So uh, I think they'll let a, a few in there at Kenilworth Road. Yeah, for all their huff and their perf, mm. they've only won five games this season Luton okay they're only three points behind Nottingham Forest yep. but they're a team that needs, needs to start putting some wins together if they want to survive in the Premier League and uh, be in there for the 2024-2025 season whether they do or not I'm not sure mm -hmm. as yet but I've got the Cherries with a free two away victory next up we've got Wolves coming up against West Ham which Wolves is going to turn up yeah you just they haven't know. won in the last couple of matches a draw away against yeah. Burnley on Tuesday evening and prior to that it was a loss against uh, close rivals Aston Villa so at home you, you've got to fancy them West Ham their form's a little bit erratic as well just the two wins in their last six matches West Ham going to get another point here at Molyneux and I can see this one ending up as Wolves won West Ham won yeah Wolves are just a bit too inconsistent for me but West Ham are grinding out the results and they've also got Newcastle breathing down their mm. necks as well they're currently in those conference league places but they really really need to push up there so this is a game where they're going to turn it round they're not getting destroyed in games they're just grinding them out at the moment but struggling to get all three so let's go 2-1 to West Ham Anyway, moving on, half past five on Sky, Brighton up against Arsenal. Arsenal are playing at the moment and are currently 2-0 up. Thanks to an goal and a Martin Odegaard goal. Saka's not even in the squad. Well, he's not Saka's even on the bench tonight. On the bench tonight. tonight. <laughs> and then they're coming up against a Brighton team who are very, very inconsistent at the moment. Not sure which way to look at that one. But I can see this one being 2-0 to Arsenal. 2-0 to Arsenal. I think there'll be goals. Brighton pushed yeah. Liverpool all the way on the weekend in, in a 2-1 defeat. However... I think Arsenal are going to be just way too strong with them, especially if Saka comes back into that mm -hmm. lineup. And Kai Havertz is in excellent form at the moment. <clears> so <throat> I'm going to go for a 3-1 away victory to the Gunners. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got the first of the Sunday fixtures. We've got Manchester United against Liverpool, the massive rivalry there. There's always normally a lot of goals at Old Trafford as well. However, Man United... OK, they're in sixth position. One win in their last three matches. They're not playing well, though. They do play on Thursday evening against Chelsea as well. I think Liverpool, yeah, Liverpool play on that the same yeah. evening as well in this one. This one could go either way. I think mm -hmm. Man United won in the Cup against Liverpool yeah. earlier this season. But I think the Reds, they're going for the title. So I can see them coming away with a 2-0 away win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be another goal fest for me. Uh, Liverpool are on ridiculous form anyway. Um, sort of sort of cementing their place in that first position as well, which they need to because Arsenal and also Man City are on good film as well. So, yeah, high scoring. Let's go 3-2 to Liverpool. Moving on, half past five, Sheffield United up against Chelsea. Sheffield United grinding out draws. However, it is the teams around them and teams that are being inconsistent. Cough, cough, Fulham. And then, obviously, Chelsea, where do we even start from here? Just draw fest. Really poor performances. I could go on for until tomorrow morning about them. But it's Sheffield United, isn't it? At the end of the day, they're pretty much dead and buried at this point. So let's go 3-1 Chelsea. Yeah, surprisingly, Sheffield United have scored five goals in the last two matches, but they conceded five as well. They yep. come up against the Chelsea side. You can flip a coin at mm -hmm. what's going to happen there. But they can see goals. They can score goals as well. Bramall Lane. <laughs> I'm going to con contradict myself here. I don't think there'll be many goals, but I do see the Blues of Chelsea mm. winning this one. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 
away win to yeah. the visitors. And the final fixture of Game Week 32 sees Spurs take on Nottingham Forest live on Sky Sports here in the UK at 6 o'clock on mm. a Sunday evening. Terrible. Spurs, their form's all over the place at the moment. Attacking-wise, they look really good, but uh, they could score a few more goals than they are currently doing. They are in fifth position. They want to sneak into those Champions League places, but mm. can they be consistent enough? A draw against West Ham on the 2nd of April. And, uh, yeah, well, they've got Nottingham Forest here. Forest, just above the drop mm. zone. It's going to be tight. Brennan Johnson up against his former club as well. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 home win to Spurs at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yeah, I'm probably just going to edge it to Spurs as well. I know uh, Forest have been slowly but surely improving. They are hovering above loot of mines. I, I can't not give it to Spurs 2-0. 2-0. So that concludes our predictions mm -hmm. for Game Week 32. Make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website. All the detail is in the description as usual. This weekend, Nathan, we're going to be at another championship match. Cardiff City against Hull. Yes, Will there be a vlog? link in the description below. Excellent. Thanks for joining us once again. These games are coming thick and fast, both in the Premier League and the Championship. Enjoy your Premier League weekend, whoever you support there, and we'll see you all in the next video. Six shots, yeah, straight to the face, and I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way, so I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay. I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'll get on safe. So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face, I'm taking